Today we are looking at the Google Meet Breakout Rooms extension. Once you've added it to Chrome, you can then go up into your extensions and open your breakout room. And this side panel comes up and you've got these four um, menu items along the top. We are actually going to start at the end in settings. So you can either display all your rooms as separate tile windows or in separate tabs within the same window. So whatever your preference is. The rest of these settings is colors and images. Um, so if you want to play with that, you are more than welcome. But I'm going to move on to courses. So here we're going to set up our courses, whatever you want to call them, and save each time. Once you have all your courses in there and saved, you'll go into Rooms. I'm going to start with my first period. And down here are where you create the rooms. Main Room is your main Google link uh, meeting that you would normally have if you use it by giving it a nickname. So students go in and enter a code, such as Tipton First, then you can do it that way. If you have it as a link, then you're going to copy and paste that link in here directly. For example, if you've got your um, Meet link within Google Classroom, or if you have it in Moodle, or wherever you have it, you're going to go grab that URL and paste it in here. I'm going to use um, a nickname. Then, and we're going to save that. So that's your main meeting that you always use daily. Okay. Then I'm going to add however many breakout rooms I would want. Could be four or five, could be two, you know. Um, and then you're going to name these. And you can do the same thing here. So you can just create a nickname that the students would go in and enter that as a code. So right here they would, they would join a meeting with code is what I think theirs says, and they just type it in right here. So room one, I'm going to say first room one is my code. Again, you could create a link and or create a meeting and pull the link in and copy the link in here if that is how you prefer to do it. But to me, the codes are just easiest and that way you're not having to create meeting rooms just to do this. So first room two, and you can use whatever code you want. So I went ahead and created six rooms. I don't always have to use those six, but in the event that I might want to break them into smaller groups, um, I have that already created and set up and not, I won't have to come back into settings and create them later if I decide I want smaller groups. I also decided to go ahead and put in um, a more specific code because if you and another person use first room one, then everybody's in that same meeting from both classes. So you do want to make this um, a more specific code to your name and your class. Then I'm going to save that. And now when I go to meet, I am ready to get some things started. So my first period is the one I just worked on. I do have six total breakout rooms for that, but you know, maybe today I'm just going to use three. Okay, and now I can open just the main room, I can open just the breakout rooms, or I can open both of them all at the same time. And as you can see, this is populating the window tiles. And I had, so here's my main room over here, which is tipped in first. And then I've got room one, room two is going to be down here, and then this would be most likely room three. And I can, of course, adjust the sizing of this a little bit more as needed. So now that the rooms are created, I would then have to tell my students, okay, um, Aaron and John and Lexi, you guys are going to be in room one. Here is the code. And so you can send that code through your side chat of your main room over here somewhere. Um, or you could have this already pre-set up and they have um, a Google Doc where they 
access the link quicker and easier or if you want to email it you know however you want to get it to them and then they go into Google Meet and enter the code that they need for their classroom okay so then from your end in the breakout room um, settings options this top sidebar I can scroll through all the different rooms and I am able to mute everybody in room one I can talk to everybody in room one with that button I can also turn on the video for everybody um, so they can see me in room one if I want to talk just to them and I can do that for each room I can also broadcast to all breakout rooms so I can mute everybody at the same time turn on my camera and talk to them and um, well this is so you can hear them actually so if you have this on you would be hearing everybody at once or you can turn on the sound just for one room at a time and then scroll into your next room and hear what they are doing um, but you can talk to one room at a time or you can talk to a all of them at the same time. You've got a timer here in the middle that you can set and after playing around with this for a second you do um, get a sound notification I think when there's one minute left and then of course when it's done but that is only on your end so unless you have your mic on for the whole uh, for all breakout rooms they won't hear the buzzer when that goes off just to let you know. Students and rooms both when you click on that it gives you a little report. So I have one student right now just to practice this and it shows that they are in room three. So once you have more students in there of course you'll see what their room assignments were and if they were in there um, when they're supposed to be kind of thing. Okay and that's it.